actually that that I dreamt the first scene of the first episode uh, al almost verbatim actually um the the scene where I come in and shout and swear at my kids I I dreamt that because I had sort of it felt like a dream that I had when I dreamt it I thought I've been through this and this situation of knowing that you're going upstairs to you have to tell your kids off and because they're annoying you or what, for whatever reason in the dream. And I knew I was going to shout at my kids. And all the way up the stairs, I was talking myself down, talking myself, don't swear at them, don't swear at them, don't shout at them. You always feel terrible afterwards. Be a better person. Don't do it. Just breathe. Just talk to them. Talk to them. Calm down. Open the door. For fuck's sake. So like all of that goes out there. So, so I woke up and my partner at the time, I said, I've just had this dream. I think it might be quite a good show one day and she said yeah you should tell someone about it so I, so I did I told John Thoday at Avalon he put me together with Chris Addison then together with Simon Blackwell and um, so we we created the show together tried to be as honest you know when we were developing the show we tried to be as honest as possible about putting in all the things that made us not not proud you know like there's no point doing a look at this and look at a sort of Instagram version of us as fathers and as mothers no, while I, I, I'm simultaneously very private, I've always been very private about my actual family life, but I thought, well, this is, this is time to sort of, it's, it's a time to be honest and mm. vulnerable, vulnerable about things that you're not, I mean, if I could say vulnerable, oh, and I have now, <laughs> they're about, the things, about the things you're not very good at <laughs> in, in the area that is most important in your life, which one, you should become a parent. That is the most important thing you will ever do. Yeah. Um, so it, fe it feels kind of nice, actually, to be honest and go, yeah. we are often not very good at this thing that we want to be good at. I mean, as I, you know, we, we saw several very good actors for the part of Ali. It wasn't a sort of fait accompli that, oh, because Daisy's an old friend of mine, she'll get the, it, you know, it wasn't no. written in that way. I wasn't expect, I wasn't actually expecting necessarily Daisy to walk through the door. Uh, so, but she auditioned, yeah. she got the recall, we read together. And I think it's fair to say we, we have a rapport. Do you know what I mean? Like there's yeah. a fairly good chemistry. I think we're both coming from a reasonably similar point as actors i yeah. think what point uh, would that would you say that, that well is? i think that well I, I, without complimenting myself i'll compliment daisy and by inference you can say that i think all those things about myself <laughs> uh she's a very good truthful actor but knows where funny is so you he thinks I mean? that of himself. i think that about myself <laughs> even more so yeah. a very good truthful actor but knows where funny is is that as basically saying that you don't overplay the funny yeah you're, you're not you don't yeah. overlook you're not to trying to play it. the joke you're trying to play the truth what has it been like in the course? Because I'm sure you've been in situations where you've been asked to overplay the funny. How do you how do you handle that when your natural instinct is to know that it's funnier or at least more interesting and truthful to be smaller and more subtle? Well, I, I mean, it, I guess sometimes you just sometimes you do have to do what you're told. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and some it depends on the tone of the show. This is a, this tone suits what we do, I think, doesn't it? Yeah. I, th I mean, I, I, as a fan of, of, as a watcher of things, mm. I always wonder why people are telling me what's funny. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'll, I'll be the judge. Yeah. You know, show me the scene. And I'll, it's, if something's funny in it, I, don't worry, I'll, I'll pick it up. But, you know, sledgehammering me as an audience member over the head about this is the jokey bit immediately makes me allergic. You know, and it always has. It always has. So I just think, you know, you, you can trust the audience to pick up on something that's funny. Mm. Um because if the writing is good and if the situation is good and you're committing to it, I mean, all of this is pretty much page one stuff. But, you know, we're not saying anything revolutionary here. It's like, we, we know all this stuff. Yeah. So I always think it's still amazing when people are just, did you get that joke? Yeah, I yeah. did, man. I got it five minutes ago when you fucking <laughs> said it the first time. You know, like, <laughs> stop it. Well, the truth is I didn't spend a lot of time in the writer's room. My thing is more noting from outside, I suppose. So keeping track of what the conversations are. Um, so Chris, Addison and Simon are sort of bossing the writer's room really, feeding back to me, I'm feeding back to them about what I would like, you know, the, the things that we all talked about while we were developing it. Um, so yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't there on the regular really, you know, but, uh, but I was just kind of hearing, hearing what was happening and then noting all the time each draft that comes in and because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not a writer, but I'm very big on tone and I'm very big on what my taste is and I, I sort of believe in and trust my taste. But it's not, you know, but I'm not the boss. There's also Chris, there's Simon, there's a whole team uh, of whom I'm one voter, you know. So it's, it, that, that's interesting as well, you know, like we have a lot of common ground, obviously, but that within that there are little different things that we all want to say as well, you know. I love the show. I have to let you go. I've Thank got, you. been given the rap sign. Uh, it is on uh, FX. Which night is it on on FX? I believe it's on second. second.
second, second and then last. FX Hulu. FX it FX oh, the Hulu, next day. Me, on the next day. Well Great. Done, Martin. It's called Breeders. Uh, it's a it's a wonderful show, guys. Thank you so much for being thank here and talking much. about it. Give Martin a Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.